Okay, we're now going to look at stratified sampling. Okay, uh, so what stratified sampling is, it's doing a sample in the same proportions as each subgroup of the population. So, for instance, if we looked at this uh, set of information, we've got a sick form of 500 students. Well, it wouldn't be fair to take, a, if we're doing a sample of 30, it wouldn't be fair to do a quarter of vocational, a quarter of the 30 is vocational, a quarter of them being science, a quarter of them being languages, and a quarter of them being arts. Because if you think about it, of the students, a lot more do arts than languages. So you'd want in your sample more arts people than languages. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out what fraction of the 500 are each of the individual subjects and then we're going to take that fraction off the sample size okay so the key is this is the way you do it you do the number in category over the total number of students so that's the fraction so for instance for vocational there's a hundred doing vocational out of 500 so that'd be 100 out of 500 a fifth and then times by sample size okay so that's how you'd work out this satisfied sample for each of the subjects so let's work it out so for vocational there's 100 people doing vocational out of out of 500 so that's 100 out of 500 and then times by the sample size, where well, the sample size is a sample, they want to take a sample of 30 students, so we times that by 30. So, uh, you could do this with or without a calculator. 100 over 500 is a fifth, and a fifth of 36, but you can, let's just do it in a calculator just to show you. 100 divided by 500 multiplied by 30 equals 6. So in our sample, we would want to take 6 vocational uh, students in our sample. Next one, sciences. Well, there's 160 scientists out of the 500 times by the sample size of 30. Uh, again, you could do this um, without a calculator, so cancel it down, so 16 fiftieths, 8 25ths, and so on, and then take that fraction off the thing. Sometimes it's just easier to use a calculator. 160 divided by 500 multiplied by 30 equals 9.6. Actually, a lot easier using your calculator, so 9.6. Next one, languages. Okay, so the 65 people doing languages, so that's 65 people out of the 500, so times by the sample size of 30, so 65 divided by 500 times by 30 equals 3.9. So you want to take 3.9 students to do languages. We'll come back to these decimal numbers later. Okay, and arts. So arts is 175, so it's 175. Out of the three, out of the five hundred, times by the sample size of thirty. So we do one hundred and seventy-five divided by five hundred times by thirty equals ten point five. So we want to take ten point five students doing arts. Okay, so we have taken a stratified sample. Okay, that means that out of the thirty students, these numbers here would be in the right proportions to the original information or the original data. Okay, now unfortunately, although these are in the right proportions, they're not practical. I can't ask nine point six uh, scientists unless it's somebody that's not you know a bit short. Um, but let's work out actually then how to do this. Okay, so let's round these numbers to make nice easy, nice numbers to round. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is we'll round up first of all the three point nine. So we get six and four. Okay, so we've rounded up the 3.9 because it had the highest decimal number. Okay, uh, so that's 10. So we want a number 20. Okay, um, so if we want 20, well, that's 9, that's 10. Well, we're going to want to round up one more to make 20. So if you round up the 9.6, that's again got the highest decimal number, 9.6, well, that would be 10. And if we round down, I know with, it, with 0.5, you, you normally round up, but if we round that one down, to be 10, that would be 10, 6 plus 10 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 10 is 30. You've got to make sure that you've only got 30 students, so you can't just round up, round up, round up, round up. If you round it up on all of them, that'd be 6, 10, 4, and 10. Well, 6, 10, 4, sorry, 6, 10, 4, and 11. Well, 6, 10, 4, plus 11 is 31, and that'd be too many. So what I've chosen to do is to not round up the highest, or the, the one with the smallest uh, number after decimal point. So although 10 would not, 0.5 would normally round up, well, I've chosen not to round it up here, okay? So I would get 6, 10, 4, and 10. 
Well, that adds up together to give you 30. So therefore, we've done the stratified sample. Okay.